Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and everyone in between, welcome back to Timeless Sagas, your one-stop destination for history, anthropology, sociology, philosophy, and of course, timeless stories that shape the world we know today. If you're new here, don't forget to press the subscribe button, and if you're a regular, buckle up for another thrilling dive into history. Today, we're taking a trip to the 20th century, a time of great advancements, but also a time of great conflicts. We're going to focus on an invention that changed the world forever, the atomic bomb. Some might call it a triumph of scientific knowledge, others a terrifying reminder of the destructive power humans can wield. But how did it come to be? What were the events that led to its creation, and what was the impact of its use in warfare? Grab your popcorn, and let's delve into the fascinating and, at times, chilling story of the invention of the atomic bomb. The year was 1938, and the world was on the brink of another great war. Tensions were high, and the scientific community was buzzing with new discoveries. In Germany, two chemists, Otto Hahn and Fritz Strassmann, were working on experiments involving uranium, a heavy radioactive metallic element. They discovered that when they bombarded uranium with neutrons, the uranium nucleus would split into two roughly equal parts, releasing an enormous amount of energy. This was nuclear fission, the process that would later become the core principle behind the atomic bomb. The scientific community was quick to realize the implications of this discovery. Scientists like Albert Einstein, who was living in the United States at the time, knew that this knowledge could be harnessed to create a weapon of unprecedented power. But they also knew that if they didn't act, others would. The fear was that Nazi Germany, already a powerful and dangerous regime, would develop a nuclear weapon first, and that would spell disaster for the world. So, in 1939, a group of prominent physicists, including Einstein, wrote a letter to President Franklin D. Roosevelt, urging him to support research into nuclear fission and the potential development of an atomic bomb. This letter, known as the Einstein-Sillard letter, marked the beginning of a top-secret U.S. government project that would come to be known as the Manhattan Project. Cue intense music and dramatic lighting. The Manhattan Project was a massive and highly secretive effort to develop the first atomic bomb. The U.S. government poured billions of dollars into the project, and some of the brightest minds in science and engineering were gathered to work on it. This elite group included J. Robert Oppenheimer, who would later become known as the father of the atomic bomb. The project took place in multiple secret locations across the United States, including Los Alamos, New Mexico, Oak Ridge, Tennessee, and Hanford, Washington. The scientists and engineers of the Manhattan Project faced numerous challenges in their quest to develop the atomic bomb, not least of which was the fact that they were working with highly radioactive materials. They had to invent new methods for producing and purifying the necessary elements, like plutonium and enriched uranium, and devise a way to contain the enormous energy release that would occur during a nuclear explosion. Talk about pressure. After years of intense work, the moment of truth finally arrived. On July 16, 1945, the first ever atomic bomb was detonated in a test known as the Trinity Test. The blast was equivalent to 20 kilotons of TNT, creating a mushroom cloud that rose over 38,000 feet into the air. The heat from the explosion was so intense that it turned the sand at the test site into a greenish glass called Trinitite. The world had officially entered the atomic age. But the story doesn't end there, dear viewers. As we know, the atomic bomb would play a chilling role in the final stages of World War II. By August 1945, the war in Europe was over, but the conflict with Japan was still raging. President Harry S. Truman, who had taken office after Roosevelt's death in April, was faced with a difficult decision, should he use this new and terrifying weapon to force Japan's surrender. In the end, Truman gave the order to drop atomic bombs on two Japanese cities, Hiroshima and Nagasaki. On August 6, 1945, the B-29 bomber Enola Gay dropped the first atomic bomb, nicknamed Little Boy, on Hiroshima. Three days later, another B-29, Boxcar, dropped the Fat Man bomb on Nagasaki. The destruction was unimaginable, tens of thousands of people were killed instantly, and many more would die later from radiation sickness and other injuries. The bombings remain the only use of nuclear weapons in warfare to this day. The decision to drop the atomic bombs remains a topic of intense debate among historians and ethicists. Some argue that it was a necessary and justified action to save lives and bring a swift end to the war, while others contend that it was a deeply immoral act that caused immense suffering and paved the way for the nuclear arms race that would define the Cold War. But beyond the debate over its use in warfare, the development of the atomic bomb marked a turning point in human history. The power to destroy entire cities, and potentially the world, was now in our hands. 
the atomic age forced us to confront the ethical and philosophical implications of our newfound capabilities, as well as the responsibilities that come with such power. So, what have we learned from this dark and dramatic chapter of history? On one hand, the invention of the atomic bomb highlights the incredible potential of human ingenuity and the power of scientific discovery. On the other hand, it serves as a sobering reminder of the devastating consequences that can result when that power is wielded without restraint or consideration for the value of human life. As we continue to advance technologically and grapple with the challenges of the 21st century, the story of the atomic bomb remains a timeless saga, a cautionary tale that reminds us of our responsibility to use our knowledge and power wisely, and to always strive for a better, more peaceful world. That's all for today, folks. If you enjoyed this journey into the atomic age, please give this video a thumbs up and share it with your fellow history buffs. Don't forget to subscribe for more amazing stories from the annals of history, and as always, keep exploring the timeless sagas that make up our past. Until next time.